Hello, YouTube card people. Um, all right, it's been a while uh, since I posted a video, but I've got an absolute banger for you today. Um, I've got some stuff that I've gotten recently uh, that I want to show off. Um, well, I quickly organized, which I'm just now realizing I probably should have done before starting this video. Um, I went to a trade day recently. Um, I traded some of my bigger cards, some of the things that you've probably seen in uh, some videos before, things like the 2014 Mike Trout Future Star short print, um, which is about a $150 card, my Juan Soto um, Gold Refractor from last year's um, Stadium Club Chrome. It wasn't numbered. It's kind of like the uh, the gold parallels that come out of um, Topps Hobby. Uh, if you're familiar with those, it's uh, yeah, it's basically like a non-numbered parallel. Um, so I traded one of those. That was like a two hundred dollar card, which I was really surprised to hear actually. Um, cause the last time I had looked at the price of that card, it was only like 50 bucks. Um, so to have seen it gone up to 200 was very nice. Uh, really appreciated seeing that. Um, other than that, uh, we got some Yankee stuff. I've been really into short prints lately. Um, you're going to see some of those today. We've got some minor PC stuff, um, stuff for my Griffey, stuff for my Kyle Lewis, um, stuff for my Logan Gilbert, um, tons of Kyle Lewis, actually. I th I'm thinking that he might be the guy in Seattle right now. I'm not really sure what's going to happen with Jared Kalanick after his demotion. Um, but I do think that you know, Seattle has a bright future, and that's why I'm collecting their cards, especially their outfield. Um, Julio, Kalanick, and Kyle Lewis. I'm also, like, trying to build a little Noelle Marte collection. Um, so if anybody sees uh, anything that they're interested in in today's video that's not off-limits, um, and you have cards of those guys, please let me know. And I'd be interested in... Uh, Working out an equal value deal. Um, here's my thing with trading. I am not... Um, I'm not going to lose on a trade. And here's what I mean by that. I know that like some guys go into trades and they're like, Oh, like I'm going to walk away with everything and this guy's going to get nothing. No. I win on a trade in two ways. A card that I don't care about, that I trade for another card of equal or higher value. Or a card that I do care about, that I trade for a card that I care about, or is of equal or higher value. Now, I normally won't trade a card I care about for one that I don't, but there have been some reasons why I've done that. Uh, you know, actually, I can't think of a single time. So I'll forget I mentioned it. I'm going to start with the Yankees. Um... This stack is all over the place. I don't feel like organizing it, so here we go. Uh, we're going to start off with some first Bowmans of uh, Trey Sweeney. Let me back this up. Boop. And Fidel Montero. Uh, I don't know either one of those guys. I know Sweeney's kind of the, the big shot. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, okay? So I went to trade day, and I made a trade for this card. Nothing special about it. It's not numbered. Nothing like that. But I traded two cards that I didn't really care about at all that helped out another collector. And I got this card in return. And, you know, it's nothing special. It'll go in a box. It'll never really be seen again, probably. Um, but I'm just happy that I could help that other collector out. You know, that's kind of what this is all about. Um, helping out, you know, the people in the community who are there for you. Um and, you know, this guy, he introduced me to this trade day. He was the one who let me know that it was going on. So uh, I'm very thankful uh, to have done that because some of the cards that you're going to see today um, come from that trade day and those pretty pretty nice trades that were made uh, this weekend. 
We're going to keep up with the Bowman. We got some more first Bowman. Trey Sweeney, Oswaldo Cabrera, another Montero, Luis Gil, Oswald Peraza. Uh, saw him play recently. Alexander Varargas. Uh, we're sticking with the Bowman. Again, nothing special here. Another Trey Sweeney, Garrett Cole, Joey Gallo, uh, just for the Yankees binders. We got a couple Dominguez's and another Viragas Chrome. Uh, hopefully, Jason will be in the bigs soon enough. Uh, he kind of like goes hot and cold a lot in the minors, so we'll see. We got a short print and a diamond anniversary short print of that of Mickey Mantle. That'll be going in a binder. Probably, unless it's a very high-value card, and I don't know what I'm talking about. Mirror Red, Lou Gehrig. This is uh, Donruss era. Yep, Donruss, what is this? 03 to 100. Beautiful card, got this in a trade. Uh, traded the Tatis Chrome, uh, Rookie, a Trout, Short Print, uh, some other things. Another thing that was yielded from said trade we got a star rate 2000 Jeter uh, 90s Jeter inserts are tough they tend to be expensive glad to have that one uh, didn't get this I got this one a trade but a different trade I traded my Pokemon collection and my Star Wars um, Empire cards um, for this card 150 bat relic of Tulo um, now it wasn't just this card I also traded for about $1,300 in value worth of 1959 tops, um, including like the Warren Spawn and the Willie Mays. I'm not going to show you that collection right now because I'm in the process of like logging it and putting it away and keeping it nice. Um, so yeah, I don't want to dig through it. And plus I couldn't pick out all the cards that I bought that day now that they've been put away anyway. So uh, lots of cards for the set, about 150 cards total for the set. Uh, the Ernie Banks was in there, too. That's the other big one. Uh, we got a Bowman in 3D, Dominguez. This is a Topps Gallery short print of Lou Gehrig. I'll go on the binder. Uh, this is an Unleashed of Aaron Judge. Man, the, uh, I think this is 2022. Yeah, the 2022 Unleashed is beautiful. This set always looks cool and is something that collectors want to do. For me, I always lose steam on it. I'm like, man, I'm going to do the Unleashed set this year. And then I'm like, yeah, but, like, you have to buy so much unlicensed product. And, like, Panini's really just not worth it, even still to this day. So it's tough. I'm hoping that with the with Fanatics and baseball, maybe they buy Panini's baseball division. Because um, some of those products, like National Treasures and things like that, are just gorgeous. And they deserve to be with the logos. I mean, God, Panini's card design is miles above tops. Um, at this point, cause even though some of the parallels are really pretty, like this one, this DJ, like this is really cool, it's a sweet looking card, but like at the end of the day, it's exactly the same as the one that's going to look like this in 2023, just with a different picture and a slightly different border. Like if you compare like which one of these cards do you think is the more rare card, the answer is probably going to be this one. So, you know, tough, but, uh, short print. Uh, Aaron Judge, no name. This is not the only Aaron Judge short print I'm going to show you today. Um, the other one's just a much bigger bang, so we're going to hold that one for a second. Uh, DJ Purple from GQ. We got a Mike Mucina from... God, what set is this? Mosaic Blue Jersey Color Team Match. A Rizzo short print from this year. I found this um, chilling in a box, just Ryan LaMare. He's a minor league guy for the Yankees. I collect those as well. Uh, if you've ever been on their farm team or in their system or on the big league team, you know, you're in my collection. Uh, Alexander Vargas has the worst autograph I've ever seen of all time. Like, I don't really understand where, why it looks like that. It's terrible. Um, I absolutely atrocious. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> um, we got a Mosaic Judge. Uh, max distance 496 feet not numbered or nothing like that but a cool little judge uh insert and those are not numbered but they are likely limited you know there's definitely less of them in the world than there are the tops inserts here's the big boy 2018 super super short print ssp 
um, or just super short print rather. You can see the code down there. Uh, this is Aaron Judge. And this card was the big card in the trade that I sent my Trout short print to the other guy for. Um, you know, he was a Red Sox fan. I am a Trout fan, but I've sold a bunch of Trout short prints already. So I had a nice little run of Trout short prints, probably had like eight or nine of them. Um, but then I was like, eh, not, you know, he sells for a lot and I needed the money at the time. So I sold him and he'll be one of the greatest players of our generation. My big trout is coming someday, but today's not the day. And when we can get in there and judge, um, that's that valuable. That's what we're going to do. Uh, let's go on to, uh, let's go on to some rookies. Um, you know, my rookie card collection has grown a significant amount in the recent in my recent uh, time. Um, my binders, I'm building binders of every rookie card by every year throughout the the life of Top. So it's happening. It's happening slowly. But we had a Paul Goldschmidt. That's a big dub. Um, probably could have got the Rizzo as well in this trade. Uh, but you know, I kind of felt like the guy I was trading with was losing a little bit and. When you win a trade, sometimes you don't feel great about it. And, like, he was happy, so he didn't lose in his mind. But in my mind, I was like, man, if I were you in this position and some kid who had a way inferior collection than I do was trying to make a trade with me, I might not let it happen. Um, so we got that Goldschmidt. Also part of that deal was this Robert, uh, Luis Robert 2020, uh, Donaldson, first Bowman. Uh, that was part of that deal. We got a Nolan Arenado rookie card. That was part of that deal. Uh, man, that deal had some other stuff in it, but I'll get to that later. Um, keeping up with the rookie trend, we got a Joe Ryan. This is a purple chrome. It's not numbered. It's one of those hot box refractors. He's pitching out of his mind. We got Reese Hoskins update series Chrome rookie card. Didn't have one of his, so I picked him up. I think it was only like a buck or two. Uh, and then we picked up uh, an orange Trevor Richards to 25. Absolute fire. Um, hoping that he continues to be as good as he's been. Uh, and we can turn this card into something a little bit bigger sometime uh, in the near future. We'll see. Uh all right, let's move on to, like, the side PCs. So I did pick up some cards for my side PCs. We had one to the Miggy Cabrera collection. Uh, let's see if there's another one we had for him. There is not, so I'll go to the pool holes. Uh, cheap pool holes, dollar card, something like that. Number to three ninety nine. Hall of Famer, all day. Funky-looking card, weird card. Uh, so, yeah, we do, we do those every single time. We got a Logan Gilbert, and here's the, the gold that I was talking about. This is the... Uh, non-numbered gold rainbow refractor um and this is of logan gilbert that's kind of like the soto i sold from stadium club uh we got some kyle lewis we got a first bowman refractor here chrome refractor we got his panini crusade which was like a buck or two rookie card we got his big league from 21 yeah 21 yeah and we got his orange big league from 21 ah oh i'm gonna have to chop that out i think uh we got his most wanted we got his power producers to 50 this is bowman's best gold refractor and that was part of the trade that brought over the judge i believe and then we got this Ken Griffey Jr. Finest Refractor. Pretty sick card. Um, this was part of the Judge trade as well. So those were the side PC stuff. And now we move into like the bangers. All right. Or like stuff that was. <coughs> it didn't fit the realm of the other things. All right. And we're going to do this by like. Most valuable or least valuable to like most valuable um in terms of like money all right so now i'll tell you what my favorite ones are though so i did pick up this david wright it's kind of a stadium club refractor uh it came over in the kyle lewis like stack sale that i bought from it was like three four dollars for all the kyle lewis's and like this card um something like that so that was cool we picked up a shane bieber patch from another stack sale 
Uh, you can see my handle on there, or like what's left of it, anyway. Um, it's just wrapped in a team bag, which is interesting. But, yep, uh, Cleveland Pride, Shane Bieber. Pretty cool card. Um, going to Cleveland over the summer. It would be cool if I could get that signed. Um, but I'm an adult, and that doesn't happen. So we got Roy Halladay at $2.99. Uh, we have another big Roy Halladay card coming up in a second. It was his birthday the other day. I was thinking about him. I saw him on Twitter, and uh, 99 Luis Castillo, Chrome um, Draft. Uh, and I was like, I gotta get, I gotta get a nice Roy Halladay. So I did it. Uh, Satchel Page short print. Uh, we pull, we traded for this, uh, with the, uh, trade that I said that I thought that I had won. Um, this one was the 35 Manny Machado, three color break patch. We got this banger. This is Goldschmidt. He is raking right now. Um, in his last series, he I think he went like what five for six with like two home runs or something ridiculous like that. Then we got Jake Lamb. Um, you know, you win some, you lose some, right? This half of the card is cool. If you go like this, that's a sick card. But yeah, uh, pretty cool patches there. Um, speaking of cool patches, uh, I've got two in a row here for you. This is on nameplates of Andrew Jones. This is a Fleer Platinum tricolor patch. Game worn. So, pretty cool. Uh, number to 170. Beautiful patch of a guy who I think probably someday will be in the Hall of Fame. All right. Now we get down to the big boys. These are the two that I just... These will be in my collection for a long time. Um, one of them may be longer than the other, and this is the one that's going to be here forever. Just wow. Uh, you got the silver, you got the dark blue, the light blue, the white, the black. It's a beautiful patch to 99. 25 and 99 on the Roy Holiday Upper Deck. 2007 Upper Deck patches, Premier patches. Gorgeous, man. Like, Upper Deck really did make some great baseball cards back in the day. They made a lot of really terrible ones, but there were also some good ones in there, too. And uh, here's the biggest boy. I was really surprised that I got this card in the trade that I, I made for it. Uh, I just, I couldn't believe it. And uh, it's a Justin Verlander and Dan Heron dual auto to 35. And Dan Heron was a great pitcher. He will never, ever be a Justin Verlander or cl even close. But he was great in his day. And, of course, Justin Verlander, he is going to go to the Hall of Fame. Um, 2008, their sticker autos, which is, you know, one thing, but not that bad. So, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, you know, the three big boys, the... Here they all are together. I'll hold them up together here. Yeah, and a bunch of other stuff. So, uh, peace out.